It is the end of an era for one of Duke City's most recognizable families. Tamara Lopez learned why the Unser family is waving the checkered flag on sharing their history in the place where it all started. Tamara. Yeah, Ryan, the Unser family recently announced that they will be moving their extensive collection of racing memorabilia at the Unser Racing Museum to a new home. And while local fans may be disappointed, museum officials say the move will even show, will showcase the Unser legacy even more than ever before. I mean, it's the Unser's, right? I think they're the first family of racing. Since 2005, Albuquerque fans have gotten a front seat to the Unser family collection. I remember whenever they would race, and whenever they won or something like that, they always uh, gave a shout out to New Mexico. So uh, the answers were key to uh, Albuquerque and to New Mexico in sports. The first family of racing put the museum together to share their legacy, even with the youngest fans. I like the museum because I really like race cars and that stuff. Visitors get to see the cars used in so many historic wins. One, we got the, the 1968 Bobby Unser car, his first Indy 500, the first of his three, and of course the famous Johnny Lightning special over my shoulder here. That is a really cool looking car. That's the 1971 car when he won the second of his four. The final car is a 2001 Indy car that Al Unser Jr. took to victory lane at St. Louis. So here in the Indy 500 room, you're covered. You got the 68 car from Bobby, the 71 car with, uh, with Big Al, and then the 2001 with Junior. But soon, people are going to have to travel pretty far to see them, like all the way to Lincoln, Nebraska, at the Speedway Motors Museum of American Speed. This was something that Al had, had talked about and wanted to do before he passed away. So he and his wife, Susan, had come to the, the conclusion that they needed to make sure the museum was going to be preserved or the collection was going to be preserved in, in some way. Now the collection will be in good hands with someone else to carry on the Unser story. But not everyone is excited about the end of an era. I, I kind of wish it would stay here on Route 66. It would be really nice. Yeah. But uh, I'm glad that uh, the museum is going to stay together. The museum is about 20,000 visitors a year, but the American Museum of Speed, again in Nebraska, that one sees about 100,000 people every single year. So the answer collection will be enjoyed by even more racing fans than ever before. And your last day to see it here in Albuquerque is next Monday. Got a little bit of time. Tamara, thanks so much.